Why is that important? Well, because labor is what's called part of the big two. Two biggest expenses in the restaurant business are food cost and labor cost. And if I don't hit labor cost, I won't make money. Really, the good restaurants peak this as high as they can get it. They keep adding employees at lunch, higher and higher and higher. And they keep adding employees at dinner, higher and higher and higher. Because if you staff it, they will come. I think there was a movie back in the day, baseball movie. If you build it, they will come. If you build it, they will come. Same with schedule. If you build it, they will come. If you don't build it, they won't. Because what ends up happening is, with the flat schedule, the customer has decided that they want to eat during a peak period. You don't have enough people to serve them during the peak period, so they come in, they get violated, and then they say, you know what, I don't want to eat here anymore, I'll go someplace else. Interestingly enough, the people that come in on the off-peak period, like in the middle of the day, they always say how great the service is. So if you want to go eat at XYZ restaurant, go there at 3, because the service is wonderful. They're now training your customers, other customers, and they've been trained themselves, don't go into that restaurant at noon. And what will happen is in time, your sales will spread out wider and wider and wider. You won't get the high peaks. You'll get wider sales volumes, but not high peaks, which means I can't make money. The industry is driven by a lot of part-time workers. You have to have a lot of part-time workers to work small shifts. Oh, I can't find part-time workers. I gotta have all these hours for my people. They gotta have 40 hours. Okay, well, how many employees you got? I got 15 employees. How many of them get 40 hours? All of them get 40 hours. Okay, well, you'll never make money because you don't need them to all have 40 hours. I'm not gonna have enough sales in the middle of the day. I'm not gonna have enough sales before we open. I get zero sales before I open. I get zero sales after I close. I can't have eight people closing the restaurant. I can't have eight people opening the restaurant. And then eight people at lunch when I'm getting crushed when I need 15. I can't do that. I have to have part-timers. Well, you can't find part-timers. Yeah, you can. I've never found a place in the country that I couldn't find part-timers. You have to pay them more. Think outside of the box. They normally make X, pay them two or three dollars an hour more, and you will get them. But yet, they don't want to do that because I can't pay somebody two dollars an hour more and I'm paying their bills. Yeah, you can because they're only working two hours a day. I need them during lunch, I need them during dinner. And if you do that with your schedule, you will see that you can actually make money off of the schedule. But see, if you're not doing the schedule, you can't think about that. Let me, let me ask you this. You should know your people better than anybody else, right? I mean, you're the boss. You hopefully hired them. You hopefully trained them. You hopefully know the ones that like cats and the ones that like dogs. You should know their family members, what they like, what they don't like, the days they like to work, the days they don't want to work. You should know that. You're the boss. Well, if you're not making the schedule, how do you know when they're supposed to be trained and on what task? See, a lot of the reasons that you find a manager that's sitting in the office not operating anything, they don't know what's going on. They don't have a clue of what's going on with the restaurant. They want to sit in the office, and I'm not sure what they look at in there because there's not all that much you can do. But they want to sit there in the middle of the day. They don't want to have it short-staffed where they're going to have to get up and operate. Which brings me back to training. The best trainer in a restaurant has to be the person in charge. If you look at the greatest NFL teams, for the most part, that head coach is day-to-day -day involved with the routes that people are running day-to-day -day involved with 
how they're snapping the football. Now, that's not to say that he doesn't have help, but he's day-to-day -day involved on the field, in the trenches, working with the staff. And if training is critical to making money and scheduling both management and employees is the number one most important task and the manager is not doing it, you may as well forget about making money. I wear this band on my wrist every day. And this band says, we are a for-profit. Any questions? And actually, there's the red part, which is for losing money, and the black part for making black ink, making money. But see, the manager's not thinking about it. The manager's thinking, I'm just going to delegate the task, the number one task of a manager. Do the schedule. <laughs>